I'm going to start off by saying that the Grand Prix of the Americas we saw today at Coda is an all-time MotoGP classic. That's some of the best racing that, I, that I've seen since I started watching MotoGP just a couple of years ago when I started here, here at Grid Network. Got, got to tip my hat to all those riders. That was a, that was a great show and a, and, a, and a wonderful way to, to, to um, transition to the NASCAR race at Texas early, earlier today. But to answer your question... Looking at the point standings right now, Marit Vinales still has a little ways to go before he catches Jorge Martin at the, at the top of the standings, as you can see. But who who, who knows what can happen? I, I think is he has a lot of momentum right now, especially after getting this big win. A lot of people are saying, you know, this is the Marit Vinales of old, and if he can keep this up, you know, for more consistently, I, I really think Maverick could have a really good 2024 season. I don't know. I don't know if I want to call him a championship contender yet, but I think things are, are really looking up for him right now. And you mentioned the word re- 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 redemption. Considering what he's been through in the last couple of years, I think that you know this is a huge shot in the arm for him because when he was at Yamaha, you know he he was very he was very consistent, performing extremely well. And then you know first first little bit of, of his time with Aprilia, you know not really going so well. Really seemed like he had taken a step back. And today was a glimpse of what we know Mario Vinales can be, and it's a mystery to see what he's able to do the rest of the season. Maverick Vinales. This is definitely a story of redemption. I think one of the big things that has been really great to see Matthew Greenhouse go through this journey after that ugly split with Yamaha, Aprilia took a chance with him. A lot of folks were thinking, why are you doing that? He's not going to deliver. He's clearly going to be behind Alacious Aspargo. And that looked like it was going to be the case. But last year, we saw some improvement. And Aprilia still kept with Maverick Greenhouse. This year, we're seeing a little bit more improvement. And then when he got the poll, which surprised everyone, because on the pre-race show, especially after Jorge Martin set a new track record in the practice before qualifying, we thought, okay, it's going to be another Dakai. And then Maverick, killer lap, takes a pole, takes a sprint. And then this race, that first lap, first corner, falling outside the top 10, I was so focused on what was going up front. I didn't realize how quick Maverick Vinales was coming up. And then once he got to the front, everyone started wondering, does he not have enough tires on the rear end? Using up those medium tires, Pedro de Casa was on the same tires, the medium tires. But wow, he was able to pull away even when Acosta got less than a second with two laps to go. Again, he just pulled away, got a win. So overall, I feel... He has to be a contender now for the championship. He is showing he has improved a lot. I think him and that team are really pretty much now one. They've got the chemistry going for him. Overall, Maverick Gignales, what a success story to see what he's been doing since joining Aprilia and just keep building and building. And today, that was the high life. If he could continue this on, he was super fast. He could probably bring something to the Ducati riders.